showcase my Everwinter game Donut Man and right now I have 345 population and it's springtime I will be expecting my population to be more than uh, uh, 360 so I can get 100 uh, raiders uh, the game was stable now like it's not laggy as compared to my previous uh, video so now in this setup I have I had a uh, 10 pieces of pulses left over and I'm very confident that my food supply is very sufficient and you know I will not my villagers are not going to starve at all so I will speed up a little bit <coughs> as of now I extended planting my pulses in the outskirts uh, uh, which is farther outwards than the which is uh, the grains because I have to probably replant again but for now I think this is stable like they can harvest everything during summer the only problem I have here is that uh, that my supply of logs which is a little bit farther now uh, so I just keep on buying things from um, uh, the trader and uh, I don't gather much uh, metals so I'm trading my yeah, bones and whatever uh, unnecessary things uh, I mostly trade my what's this my um, uh, composite bow because I have a lot of flocks they're planting the grains and I'm having 346 at a maximum of 364 house uh, accommodation so here is my logs gathering area on this area here this side here this side and towards yeah Uh, spring and they just planted the grains A workload is around 30 so planting workload is very low compared to harvesting it takes a while to harvest and to plant so I planted my some of my pulses or vegetables in this area just across the river from my fort look at that my fort is littered with towers and that's the only defense I can think of to uh, repulse any attack from the raiders and I restructured my houses here I begin to make a lot of uh, round houses because uh, it's uh, hard to find spaces or like you know I, I don't want to cut all the trees and I don't like a gulag type of settlement although I still have some patches of tents in the outskirt outside and some they don't get destroyed nowadays so I'm not planning on putting more houses into the edge of my settlement so I keep this line the round houses there and in some other 
area. So now harvesting the poles and I have only less than 100% uh, workload. So if I'm missing some pulses, it's okay as long as uh, I think I have it lasted until uh, it lasted until spring, which is good enough for me. Yeah, I also plant pulses inside this plot just to make the most out of the spaces that we can have. Now my problem is also my carts, which is my my horses and uh, donkeys are dwindling, so I have to keep on taming. Some of them were killed by the raiders. And here, in this area, opposite the river, uh, from my uh, settlement, is where my my uh, animals are, you know, hanging around. Oh my god, I have 69 logs again. I need to cut down some here, probably. You know, birch trees produce very little amount of logs, so I don't like it. I like the birch, uh, what is it, what is it? they call it a oak tree, produces uh, four and four, four logs and four sticks. And, you know, I like to, and birch, what's it? Uh, This one it produces, I think, uh, uh, better logs in one trip. So I don't want my my logs to, you know, be, uh, cons be consumed. So when I I see that it is below fifty, I have to gather a lot of them immediately after harvesting my pulses which is uh, wherein I have a very low workload now which means I have a little amount of time to gather some logs so uh, I try to gather those logs farther from the settlement so that in the winter time those that are nearby I can gather easily there you go are coming all right sound alarm here are our raiders and I now have tallied 22,038 so 038 we will see how many raiders we will have So the rally point is somewhere here. I hope they don't destroy all this. Ah uh, yeah, they destroyed the tents. Uh, that's fine, it's easy to rebuild those tents and they cost very little amount of resources. Zero three eight is our initial twenty-two thousand zero thirty-eight. Oh, it's saving. I hope it's not laggy. So I just let them come over. I don't do that much. I just rebuild the towers that are being destroyed. See the movement there. It's a little bit laggy. It should be. I think around 97 probably I equip my I try to arm my units with just a lot of uh, spears and uh, now I'm trying to get some more sword, swords and uh, what's this, uh, shields very few shields because I don't want to spend my resources on sh yeah that's finished no more Zero three eight. Uh, zero three eight. Oh, we have ninety eight raiders in this uh, 
so I need to reach at least 350 population to attain a hundred uh, radar average so I will I'm just planning to go 360 to 375 because it's uh, it might be very laggy So I'm sell selling my steel and uh, what's it, uh, bronze and steel weapons that are uh, coming from the raiders. So look at that. So how many towers did I lose? I lose one, two maybe three three towers oh that's good enough it's not gonna take a toll on my iron and uh, steel or an iron uh, stockpile so this is the problem with um, this game when it's too much it's very laggy i think on the next year i will be reaching 360 something population so I might have my average 100 raiders. I don't normally repair my my uh, the destruction that they did on my settlement on my base. Uh, I just do so I only lost one tenth over here. So I can just rebuild that easily. That's why I don't want to put any hut or a roundhouse over there because I don't want them to get destroyed although in this area I have a couple of uh, huts and uh, I think I have two three four maybe five or six just to so that all my ga sticks gatherer here and uh, logs gatherer can uh, take a shelter whenever you know it's uh, their health is in jeopardy so I have 90 vlogs I need to maintain that so our workload during harvest is probably very low now because I have 348 population oh, what is that infected uh, we have barley infected but I have a lot of grains and straws already I established that but I'm worried about this fruit here 2856 it I might have another early winter if I hit 3000 on this one so in this case I have 22,136 raiders killed already on this game <laughs> uh, I like I really like this game this map especially uh, we have a lot of infected one um, I want to rest this lady here I want to keep the uh, adults safer and uh, now that I cannot uh, know how, how old is my citizen uh, it's hard I just let them whatever if they die they die because the immigration in this game is very very good and I can easily uh, it, they can easily be replaced so I have how many pulses wow I have 258 or more pulses so that's going to last until next summer and my grain is going to last you know uh, much much more I have 650 grains and uh, this straws might reach around 600 also hopefully if not sometimes when there are a lot of uh, diseases I just gather this wild uh, was this uh, wild plants here and yeah I have a couple of this uh, wild plants that can augment my 
clean and it's close production if there are some uh, diseases on my plants I have some over here too if they were if they are able to gather this before the season ends that's fine if not that's all right oh no not enough time so i will have around less than 500 straws which is not not bad and i had 198 animals oh, oh 200 shelters for animals so i set my goat to 40 sheep to 50 30 for the pigs 30 for the cattle 100 100 on the donkeys and the horses because they don't reproduce quicker faster i mean i mean my god my log is only are you going there? Why are you going there? Uh -huh. Yeah, I can go speed up. See, this game, once you reach uh, Neolithic onwards to Metal Ages, you will be fine with. You don't need to do a lot of things anymore. All, all I'm doing right now is just maintain my luck and monitor my food production and whatever is missing uh, I just tweak a little bit see I have established my sickles at uh, my sickles is at 75 uh, now I don't need a lot of picks and uh, uh, my axe is only to 50 and I set my knives to 25% just in case. Actually, I don't need a lot of knives. So the traders are coming like every... Oops. Where is this? Every season. Where's the trader? Okay, give me some trade. I need those horses. I just buy the steel ones or whatever. Oops, sorry. Oh, why am I cutting and chopping? So I'm selling the tra the raiders weapons. I don't like those. Uh, uh, what's this? Uh, I don't want to use the uh, low quality ones anyway. So I think I'm going to reach uh, 100 raiders next next uh, raid time. I just need like see I have how many six migrants. Uh, all right, that's okay. Because uh, they don't it says they don't uh, slaughter them immediately. It's not a problem because in the new version, once they die, they will be slaughtered also. Previous ones. When they die inside the stables, they don't. They cannot be seen, so they cannot be slaughtered. Now this is the problem again. Uh, the only problem I have is the log. That's it. I don't do any more anything on this game except just cutting these trees nearby during winter. And yeah. You know the the storm in this game by the way the name of this game is dawn of man ever winter mode i don't know if they can gather all of this maybe they will become sick but i want to set them you know because I, I have a very very low amount of logs in stock yeah, this one too, I want to gather them. If they can. See, that storm is... Uh, yeah. Wow. Not, 
the settlement is under calamity. I will speed it up. I will speed up to the maximum speed. And because it's not lagging anymore. Probably this game lags, I think, when the season changes from winter to to what's this? Mm, spring. So my notifications on this game is very few because everything is almost like set up already, automated. And the animals, the sledge and the carts, or oh, sometimes I tweak the carts. I want to tame more horses. I don't need those uh, dogs anymore. Yeah, oh, this one, uh, a lot of players are annoyed by this uh, uh, notifications, but it, it helps you to be honest, like monitoring things. Oh my God, some of them are not yeah, I have to use sledge. Yeah, I my trade is arriving on that area there. Uh, near the Cayennes. They call we call it Cayennes. Oh, I only have to trade for 36. Alright, I trade for 36. Notice that I have a workload of 34 and they finished planting pulses. And I still have what? 68 pulses uh, leftovers, which means that the amount of pulses I planted is enough for the whole uh, year. Yeah. So. settlement during winter three hundred fifty one and I am allow my allowance is up to three hundred sixty oh, I, I need to reach three hundred sixty something too so we have ninety eight raiders previous previously so okay I'm gonna convert this one Okay, this one because it's anything that needs repair on my hut, so I am converting them to uh, a roundhouse. See, my my planting workload is ninety something. All right, we will after the blizzard. We have we have a storm. Okay, we will speed up the uh, the process. Oh my God, my 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 logs is deteriorate deteriorating again. It's two hundred uh, forty eight only. So after they finish planting, hopefully they can gather some logs here. Yeah, uh, slow down a little bit. Uh, buy the metals. And the stones also. 200. Uh, what we have here. I'm selling those uh, round shields. I don't need them. Any type of bronze weapons or. Uh, Alright. Alright. So I have my central. Uh, my center of the fort has a stone circle. I built two stone circles already in this game and I have two cairns and a lot of minhayers, uh, statue and I'm planning to gather more megaliths but I'm trying to reach 300 uh, 100 raiders first and the megaliths are quite far now so all of, most of them these megaliths are very far in the very beginning also and the uh, metal
metal res the ores, the metal ores are very far. That's why this is one of the hardest. Uh, this is the hardest probably among uh, any type of Dawn of Man game, modded or vanilla. This is the hardest. So here are the metals are on this area, and if you can see saving again it's quite far from uh, my initial center of uh, of my settlement so those are the metal deposits there and I already put some uh, uh, what's this mine camp so that if the raiders pass through that side maybe I will be uh, warned in advance That's the problem of this game. Once you have a lot of population, you will be using them for defense, uh, the logs for the towers. So normally I try to gather the one that is farther, as I've said before, so that during winter I can gather those that are closer. If they gather it, they gather it. If they don't, then what can we do? Music is really nice on this thing on this game. Look at that. My workload including uh, chopping down trees probably if there's any is like below hundred percent on the pulses. And I still have a lot of leftovers from the pre previous year. Okay, oh wow, I forgot to rebuild my tower. I have to rebuild my tower, they will arrive soon. My goodness. Wow. I only lost a couple of towers here. Oh, I have a hole in this area. Yeah, I noticed the sound like I know. I don't really know who that is. Alright, we patch that up. And maybe our towers here will be okay. I, I lost only one tower here in from the inside. Hopefully they can rebuild it quicker before they the raiders arrive again. So in this game, it's only the logs that I need to worry about. I don't do anything that much except uh, what's this? Uh, clicking on the traders who arrive or setting the alarm when the raiders come in. So now I have 32 sometimes. I can gather my logs in between harvesting. Yeah, they gather the ones from here. Look at that. I only have sledges, so I have to gather like uh, I don't know, maybe 20 or 40 at a time. The, the game stabilizes because before it used to lag too hard too much especially with this population oh my god oh it's still 345 and my birth is how much I have 19 one we buy this one we will buy the horses we have a lot of resources to pay all right that one that one that one oh that's enough already i'm going to oh. fifteen 
Alright, I give him five points. So, my workload is. Uh, oh, I'm uh, surprised, very low. I have 137. I used to collect like 150 logs uh, before the win the winter come. So I'm not the type of gamer who plant like in a square square plots. I just try to squeeze in everything in there, and I want to retain the trees around my center of settlement. So that during summer it looks very green. Yeah, it's nice if you just uh, on a number two speed. And you can see it's very relaxing. I don't put a lot of. Uh, uh, what's this? Storage for the straw, haystack, uh, farther because I don't want the, uh, the the carts to park in the outskirts so that when raiders come in, they're quite safer. I cannot uh, improve my donkey and my horses' uh, domestication because I don't know they die like easily and not reproducing quickly. Compared to consumable, uh, which is uh, domestic animals like goats, sheep, pigs, and cattle. Okay, maybe I can gather. Oh no, it's all, almost winter time. So let's see how many, how much. Uh, I have 500 straws. I have 700 grains. See my workload planting is 80. Now after they plant, I can squeeze in my logs uh, gathering. So this one here, it will add up a little bit. Also, I think I have. I need more stockpile. So I only have one gathering area for the sticks here because every time you chop down trees we have a lot of sticks also. Uh, look at that. They are planting while it's snowing. Yeah. I don't mind anymore if I have to plant grain on one side and vegetables on the other side. The problem with planting like that, as I saw it, is that the plants are not equally distributed on all area. So if you plant only grain on one side here and the posies on the other side, it's like bias, you know? On one side, you will only have a lot of vegetables, and the other side, a lot of uh, grains, which is it seems like inefficient to me. All right. Oh, we do not have a rate. So this side here of defense is pretty good, and also on this area, uh, on the on this side is like. Uh, I lost a lot of towers over here. Look at that, the movement of my settlers. I have how many? 176 relaxing and 166 doing their task. Oh, we have another trader. Cannot reach 360. I need to. I'm not sure. Uh, 
yeah. We lost a lot of units during the raid. Yeah, most of my metal comes from the trader. And uh, 36, 46. And uh, I only ex uh, exhausted around maybe three copper mines and uh, one or two iron mines. All of this, they used to be a thousand iron finished product and steel finished product, but there was a disaster and I had one early win winter and uh, it messed up everything. Wow, how am I stable? I have 218? Wow, I slaughtered them. They just they just have to slaughter it look at that my my log is up to 70 again so i need to chop down even if they are young oh yeah i'm gonna chop down all of this and the problem is we problem is on the other side this side the trees are not growing yet and this one too oh, there we go okay how, how many raiders we have all right we will sound the alarm so that let's check whether we have some adults here oh, that one might be destroyed by the raiders all right you have to evacuate I don't want you to die all right, let's check. no more adults all right so we have 136. 22,136 I don't do any more any too much here just let them position themselves yeah now they're attacking look at how they attack oh. when the bottle is over then we I just have to 340 or so I have 136 yeah, I don't know how many times three. Yeah, I don't want to disturb their positions because some of them are resting already. Wow, a lot of towers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towers. My goodness. 236 yeah it's still the same 95 raiders I think that was a bad timing so yeah I have to rebuild it again uh, I still have we still have a lot resources is abundant look at that all right Let's save this and uh, continue again next time.